Hello Aquarius, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what you need to know to heal from the person that hurt you when it comes to love. I'll also be asking spirit for messages regarding what this person would like for you to know. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are a cross watcher, this could definitely be what you need to know to heal as well as what the person that hurt you would like for you to know. All right, so Aquarius and or cross watchers, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what you need to know to heal is girl with a snake. And regardless of whether you're a male or a female, you were dealing with a snake. This is someone that you may have, you may feel as though charmed you or even used you. Okay. I feel as though a lot of you are empaths and you were actually dealing with a narcissist. I feel like this person like you were a very good supply for them okay like top of the line a1 supply spirit allowed this person to come into your life in order for you to learn to enable boundaries some of you guys let down your guard entirely too soon with this person and for others of you you didn't pay attention to the red flags or you paid attention to them but ignored them okay so yeah this person was definitely a snake and i feel as though this person is a narcissist okay we're gonna get more regarding what you need to know to heal but when it comes to what this person would like for you to know we have being apart has been life-changing for me so some of you have definitely cut this person out if you haven't already you're wanting to and i feel as though the time that the two of you have been apart this person's life has changed okay they may pretend as though everything is okay but being apart from you has changed this person's life dramatically i feel as though because you are an empath i feel like no one else empathizes with this person the way that you did a lot of you guys knew that this person had some very deep issues and so you were very flexible with trying to trying to give this person time to get it right okay they're not gonna meet anyone else that's going to feel for them the way that you did okay because i feel as though a lot of you really tried tried your best to understand this person's um traumas okay but their traumas are not yours to heal they're not yours to heal, especially now you can help a person heal if they're open to it. But this is someone I feel as though isn't, they're, they're not open to healing. This is someone that just uses people, okay? We're going to get more messages regarding what this person wants you to know. But first, let's dive a little bit deeper into your healing messages. All right, so we have stabbed in the back. Mm. The phoenix. Passion, sunglasses, the sword and rose, abundance, karmic relationship, and we also have coffin. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have not enough. So some of you grew very frustrated with this person. I feel as though this person did a number on your confidence. For some of you, this person would constantly sabotage the relationship. They're the type that is self-sabotaging within themselves. This person has some type of fear or ego issues. And for some of you, I feel as though they would do things intentionally to try and make you jealous, to make you feel as though you weren't enough. This is someone that knew your worth, but they were hoping you didn't know. Okay, so they would do do things intentional, intentionally to make you feel as though you weren't enough for them. Okay. When in reality, they felt as though they weren't enough for you or they felt as though you were, um, how can I put this? They felt as though you were out of their league or that you vibrated higher than they, than they did. Okay. Hmm. When it comes to this person, I feel as though they stabbed you in the back numerous times. This is someone that definitely hurt you very deeply. For some of you, when this person started stabbing you in the back, it was very shocking. I feel like you didn't see it coming for some of you, okay? 
there was a lot of deception in regards to this relationship but spirit wants you to know that endings bring new beginnings so it was meant for this relationship to end you guys are growing okay you're changing you're transforming and this is the type of person that suck in their lower vibrational energy they refuse to transition they refuse to um to change their ways okay and so because of that a lot of you have decided to move into a new phase of your life. Spirit is wanting you to have a changed mind when it comes to this person, okay? Because I feel as though they're still going to try to do things to intentionally make you jealous. So Spirit wants you to look at this person completely differently. And for some of you, you don't even look at them the same anymore anyway, okay? This is someone that was brought into your life in order to move you into a new phase, to teach you lessons. And I feel as though you were brought into this person's life to also make them look at things differently, to look at the way that they deceive people in a different way, okay? To help them grow and transform, but they refuse to do so. I feel as though for some of you, this is someone that you shared a past life with. Some of you still hold a little bit of resentment in regards to the turmoil that this person put you through. For others of you, I feel as though you just get triggered at times. Like when you think about the things that this person did to deceive you or to, to hurt you. It may trigger you, but spirit wants you to learn to let go and to love yourself first. Okay. You guys did have a lot of chemistry with this person. I feel as so though when the two of you got together, you really liked each other equally. Okay. You had a lot of fun together. All right. I feel as though you gave this person an abundance of love, an abundance of love, but it was not reciprocated. Okay. And they liked that. They liked that about you. They did. I also feel as though this person is still watching you. Okay, they're trying to see if you still have the same passion for them that you used to have. So this person is watching you. For some of you, they're looking at your social media or looking at photos or or something like that. They're trying to find out information about you. For some of you, this person is actually stalking you. Okay, but this is the type of person that they gaslight or they'll try to change your perception of things. This is the type of person that will make you think you didn't see what you saw or think, make you think that things are not really what they are, okay? For others of you, I feel as though you knew the truth when it came to this person, you had a lot of clarity, but they're the type that would try to switch things around on you and make it seem like you were doing these snake things. You were in this snake behavior when in reality, it was really them. I also feel as though this person is going to see, if they haven't already, they're going to see all of the abundance that you gained ever since you ended this karmic cycle. So you're basically going to get blessed in this person's face, okay? You're going to get blessed in this person's face. So yeah, this is definitely a narcissist some of you were dealing with. And I don't use that word lightly, but for a lot of you, you were dealing with a narcissist. All right, so let's see what else this person wants you to know. We know that they're saying being apart from you has been life-changing for, for them. Okay, so let's see what else, Spirit. Give me more in regards to what this person wants Aquarius to know. No other compares to you. So this person is admitting that no one else compares to you. Even though they may be dating other people, dealing with other people, they're not going to find anyone else that can match your energy. They're going to try to find your energy in others. It's not going to work. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, it's just easier to stay away right now. So for some of you, this person is staying away from you because they know that they did you wrong. OK, and also I feel as though this person doesn't want to face that they missed out on you, that they they let the one get away, the one that was genuine. This is someone that thinks everybody is out to get them. They think everybody is a snake like them, when in reality, everyone is not. OK, everyone is not a snake like them. Give me more spirit. Thank you. I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have. So this person is admitting that they haven't forgotten about you. I feel like they try to make they try to um, make it seem as though they moved on, that they're not thinking about you when in reality they actually are. We also have my heart is telling me just do it. So for some of you, this person wants to reach out to you, but um, I feel like they're trying their best to hold back because look, it's just easier to stay away 
away right now. That came out again. I feel like this person doesn't want you to know how deeply they're affected by you withdrawing your energy from them. Thank you, spirit. You are an angel. Wow. And that came out under no other compares to you. Okay. You are an angel. That came out under no one else compares to you or no other compares to you. So they're admitting that you're a very good person inside and out. Okay. They're admitting that. Wow. It's like they didn't deserve what they didn't deserve your pureness. And they didn't deserve it because when you were giving them, you came into this connection with no hidden motives or anything like that. And I feel like this person had a motive when it came to you from the jump, when they first met you and saw how pure you were and how nice and, and good of a person you are. Okay. I feel like they knew from the jump that they were going to do certain things and that's wrong. Not saying you were perfect, but I'm just saying. Give me more spirit. Okay. So we have, I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. And that wanted to come out in reverse. So this also lets me know that this is someone, they feel badly for the way that they treated you and they know that you didn't deserve it, but they, they would never admit it. For some, they wouldn't admit it. And it's all because they're fake. Because look at the bottom of the deck. I want to be authentic. I'm no longer afraid. Okay, because I feel like you guys walk in your truth. You walk in your truth and they, they don't. This person operates out of fear and ego. If I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. I bet you would have. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. So yeah, they're saying that if they knew then what they know now, they would have made different choices. Look at this. They know that you didn't deserve the things that they put you through. They're well aware of that. Well aware of it. Wow. All right. So Aquarius and or cross watchers, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.